now that I've been living here in Hong Kong for over 12 years, uh, I've had many, many opportunities to engage uh, with Chinese culture, to be inspired by Chinese culture, and to integrate um, Chinese cultural heritage into my own uh, art practice. So, uh, my name is Jeffrey Shaw. I'm Chair Professor here at uh, Hong Kong Baptist University. And I'm also Director of the uh, Visualization Research Center. Uh, I have been involved with uh, Art Tech for my whole life as an art practitioner. Uh, when I came here, I came into an educational environment, which is uh, City University, and now Hong Kong Baptist University. And in both these universities, it's in totally cross-cultural, and, uh, and teaching is done, and done in English. So there is an exceptional situation here of ease of communication. So actually, one feels very at home here as, as a foreigner. It's a very welcoming city. So currently here at Hong Kong BU, uh, we have an important two-year research project, which uh, the title is Future Cinema Systems. Professor Shao, we know that this space is your imagination of the future cinema. So can you show us around? Of course. Mm -hmm. So one of the most important features of the three 60 degree future cinema is that it's a fully immersive environment yeah. yeah we're using leds for the first time to create this um, expansive yeah. uh, vision and also it's in 3d you need to wear these uh, shutter glasses yeah. yeah and then you see a really 3d image which is floating around in the space around us and also out to infinity wow, so <laughs> all cool. around you Recently, uh, we uh, had a big commission to look not so much the overland Silk Road, but the maritime Silk Road, which is uh, a whole other area of, uh, of really interesting uh, trade and cultural interaction between China and the rest of Asia, especially India. We're really focused on developing uh, strategies to allow people all over the world to uh, engage um, with, uh, with Chinese culture and engage in a very embodied way yeah? so that it's one-to-one -one scale, fully immersive, 3D, virtual reality uh, and interactive so that you really have the feeling that you are making a personal journey of discovery. We are visiting a UNESCO World Heritage Site mm -hmm. in India. We can just freely travel around. Very smooth. Just <laughs> with this uh, yeah. control, I can go wherever I want. Yeah. Yeah. And each one of these cylinders wow. is a important location. Yeah. You know, if you would be really visiting Humpy mm -hmm. as a tourist, mm -hmm. You would have to take a taxi to go from go the there yeah. to there, the, right? Yeah. Very <laughs> far, right? <laughs> and now we can just go instantaneously. We can ah. go inside and ah. we are inside this location. So uh, much of our work uh, in relation to Chinese cultural heritage, uh, tangible and intangible cultural heritage, so with tangible cultural heritage, I, uh, I'm talking about caves or temples or, and also we are talking about sculptures, objects, paintings. Um, all of these um, materials involve different strategies of digitization. Uh, with the intangible cultural heritage of Chinese martial arts, we not only do the motion capture of the martial arts masters. You can also uh, transform them in many artistic ways or give them new expression. And indeed, a lot of the work that I've been doing here in Hong Kong 
is uh, to a Chinese sensibility, a Chinese understanding, but at the same time, uh, I'm a foreigner. I'm coming from outside, yeah? So it's also the way an outsider sees this culture and interprets this culture and creates uh, bridges. It was uh, an interesting project because the Palace Museum wanted to, uh, to tell the story of one day in the life of the Emperor. And of course in the evening when his day is over he goes to bed and uh, in this um, scenario he also dreams about his wife. My idea was that uh, if we're going to talk about the Emperor's dreams we should bring the public into bed with him, right, so that they can share his dreams. And so I created a large round sofa uh, where uh, I think around 12 people can lie together looking up at the ceiling and on the ceiling there is a, a circular projection and this projection is his, uh, is his dream. And you also see the Chinese characters of the poem. It's a, a, an extraordinary crossroads between East and West. It is really a place where a Westerner can, uh, can enter the world of, uh, of Chinese culture uh, very easily and, uh, and feel very much uh, um, connected. I've also noticed that the work I'm doing as a, as a, as a Westerner in, in Hong Kong really seems to be very meaningful uh, to, to Chinese artists and to Hong Kong artists. There is a, a fantastic convergence. So it also means that this platform of communication is not just on the level of just being able to speak English, but it's also on the level of sharing of a cultural sharing.